hello hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's Marta here and today we will do some painting watercolor painting uh, I think we're gonna paint some trees uh, maybe Christmas trees maybe a Christmassy scenery definitely we will do something different today a little bit of a uh, scene shadowy effect something that we haven't done yet before I start, I'm going to show you my brushes because many of you have asked me what brushes do you use. I have two brands and those are just practically a really random brands in a way. Soho One, the red brushes, they were sent to me by Rain, my friend, you know her. And they are all sorts of sizes. They're not really, as you can tell, either uh, the, be uh, the quality is there, I think, but I'm not really the best in holding the shape for the brushes so I wish I wish to know the secret probably don't hold your brushes inside the water for too long and another brush brand uh, brand I have is Windsor and Newton and again uh, they are uh, slightly different those are nice pointy here this is very fluffy so it depends what you're looking for and because I'm not really that much uh, aware of um, of watercolors yet I'm learning with you I'm basically I'm basically uh, trying my arm with the watercolor for now um, we are gonna be using today a really little amount of pigment so I suggest you to grab some plate maybe and basically try to have uh, some water colored delicate delicate color colored with uh, pigment so a little bit of green <clears throat> and that's that's all we we're not gonna need much color now we're just gonna paint with colored water basically um, I'm doing some mixture that will be more or less a uh, kind of green <laughs> but not so not so green uh, I rather this to be more um, what's the word like a dirty kind of green so you can tell it's gonna be our shadow so basically uh, we are gonna start off by uh, doing some background uh, farther away trees and we need our color to be a bit more dim kind of okay so I'm gonna start off by just applying <clears throat> applying some oops some color here as you can tell very delicate because this is as I as I said to you farther away those trees are farther away so oh <laughs> I should be more careful when it comes to uh, my my splatters now don't stress yourself here guys I'm doing it for the first time like you I promise I do I am doing this for the first time ever so please <laughs> relax with me we are gonna be fine so basically what I'm doing is I'm doing a little line with color and just shape of a tree a Christmas tree in this case <laughs> you can also have some background some okay now we need some more pigment and it would be advisable I'm guessing to have a, a little bit darker color this time and we need our trees to basically to uh, to dry so we can do second layer and I hope that the background layer will pick up uh, will pick up, uh, will be picking through <laughs> our uh, second layer. So I'm gonna hope it's nearly dry. It's nearly dry, to be honest. It's nearly dry, so it's okay. It's nearly dry. Mm, so let's do it. <clears throat> As you can see, my pigment is a little darker, I think, <laughs> and I'm gonna just go now uh, with my trees and do my front row, <laughs> front row in here and 
and just trying to make my trees in front of the in front of the other trees we can go maybe here a little bit easy isn't it well for now <laughs> uh, for now and you can see that I'm not really concentrating and I'm not really bothered that much of the shape of my trees and I'm just doing simple lines, nothing special here. But, you know, it's it's just a tree so I'm sure you can try and do it with me. Now, I have seen them sort of paintings on, on the... Int on the um, internet many of them going around on um, Instagram which is fabulous but most of them we can't see how they're made so I thought okay I'm gonna chance it <clears throat> and I'm gonna try to ch do it with you for you so we will see together if this is actually possible to be done or how difficult it is so I hope you can uh, you are trying with me right now I think it looks already super cute, a nice scenery of trees and I know they're not really that much realistic looking but I think they're, they're pretty good in my eyes, they're pretty good to me, they're pretty good to me. Oh, <laughs> now a little more. That's so nice. I love that actually. I really do. I'm always a little bit nervous doing things for the first time, completely out of my comfort zone. But I want to be realistic with you in this matter. So I hope this this is help, helping for you to see that, yeah, I'm doing the same way as you do. <laughs> Very hard for me equally. And I'm chancing my arm for the first time with you. Anyway. I have my darker pigment ready here, so I'm using all the time the same green, adding either white or black. So br white if I wish for it to be brighter and black if I wish this to be darker. And my pigment is ready, I'm, I believe, but I need the trees to be dry so I'm gonna dry them for two seconds. So let's do layer number three. <laughs> And I'm gonna maybe do it here more. I think I need more black. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm a specialist. <laughs> I'm not, but I think just a little bit so. So it is really darker than the rest of them. Okay, I like that. Can you tell? <laughs> I really do. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here for the next uh, step, next next uh, tree, and it's not easy. I'm not gonna lie here. It's not easy, but it's so fun to see the to see how the layer after layer appears. Um, if you're new to watercolors like me, you will enjoy it. You will love it. You have to try it. That's my. That's my. I'm gonna definitely improve uh, this technique. I think I'm gonna try more because I think it's such a nice way for a uh, for um, Christmas tree cards. I think. Well, this will be a card anyway. <laughs> but it's a nice way uh, for 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 a quick card. Maybe. Well, maybe not that quick, but quick <laughs> quick enough. I think quick enough. So I'm adding a little darker here as well. I'm so curious to hear what you think. I cannot wait to see your mix actually, your trials. Okay, maybe one more here or so. Or so. <laughs> uh huh. That's so nice. It's, it's, it's not a rocket science, but it's really not that easy as you can imagine, as you because I thought it's much easier actually. I said, oh, it's only three, like, come on, it's only like few, you know, few lines, no? 
they're not that easy as, as you think they are but it's a great technique to try for sure and to just give it a go give it a shot and try especially if you're beginner because I don't think this painting will intimidate you in any way, am I right? come on this is so simple <laughs> so let's continue now here I think it's uh, a lot of space here to improve but I also hope that this because it's so simple and because I'm not so, I'm not so really um, <laughs> I'm not so really, um, I'm gonna fix those a little bit only, I think. I think because I'm a little bit like you, well I am a lot like you, so I'm just learning. I hope that uh, you can tell that this is so easy and so worth to try, so I hope anyway. I think that there was no need for those lines, but that's okay. What about if I actually change my plan and fix those a little bit like with a different color how is that maybe I'm afraid I'm just making it worse but it's okay it's okay <laughs> it's okay I can do this here as well everything looks always different after drawing remember <laughs> I've learned that so far with the watercolors <clears throat> don't ever lose hope and give, don't give up <laughs> everything can be different and better next time so I like that it's okay it looks okay to me now I'm thinking that this could be a nice watercolor card for Christmas actually so I'm gonna I will actually uh, I will actually and go for uh, maybe a stamp or something like that okay I think I'm gonna finish it that because it's getting <laughs> harder and harder to um, to see the trees nearly so maybe one more tiny one more blackish than green in front here something like that let me see like really really but I need maybe black maybe this one is okay that's black that's black black okay yeah that's better so I'm gonna just uh -huh. have those it, I, I'm so trying to concentrate that you barely can't hear maybe you can hear my breathing <laughs> okay that's that looks great what about one more here maybe or something? <clears throat> now Instagram is a wonderful um, uh, place to look for inspiration. Amazing artists out there. I by, Only by just looking I'm thinking I need to try it. I need to try it. <laughs> so I invite you to Instagram. My one and others as well. Such a great place of inspiration for sure so go for go for it <laughs> definitely okay and last one small one here in front <laughs> a little Christmas tree there we go a little one with a black ink black watercolor <laughs> now I'm loving this oh, too much too big I'm loving this so much. I'm gonna repeat that for sure because I think it's worth to try it again. Ah, oh, so cute <laughs> and lovely scenery. I'm gonna improve that, but I love it as it is. Um, do you know what I'm thinking? I'll show you what I bought. I found my. I lost this one around the house somewhere. Merry Christmas, simple Merry Christmas stamp. So I bought it back again from Cards and Scraps from Cork Shop. And one more they had, like this, which is pretty as well. So I, I have them both, <laughs> of course. And I, I was thinking to stamp this here. How do you think? What do you think? And I have another idea what I wish to do. So let me just try quickly on this cardstock. 
Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Super. And I thought to add, believe it or not, I know it's Christmas card and all. Let me just take that off first. Oh, be very careful and gentle with your with your um, tape. Super, very careful, gentle. Super careful, gentle. Oh, I love that. How gorgeous is this now? I'm in total love with this. Okay, where is my base? <laughs> I thought to do brown base. I don't know whether it's a good choice. Oh, so cute. How awesome is this? But I thought, now I'm thinking that we need some some snow, a little bit of white dots, snow for sure. But I also thought that we may add some glitter. How is that, guys? A touches of glitter. Where's my glitter? It's there. I have it. So we need, okay, we need a little bit of, <clears throat> of glue. So this is my hmm, glue that doesn't work. I have to, oops, open up the 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 the, the lid the, ah, it's stuck so we do it it's okay now this is just a gel medium and a little bottle with the pointer thing that I got so that's very handy you know what I'm gonna just add dots here and there as a snow there we go that's a cool idea right <laughs> I think it is I'm gonna sneeze now what do you think? I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to add some glitter now. And we need the funnel, tunnel, funnel, <laughs> funnel, funny funnel. <clears throat> and that's it. And a glitter in here. Everywhere on those little dots. Mm, I love that. So cute, so cute. Some dots are bigger, as you can tell. Some big, some are smaller. So it's really down to how you like it. <laughs> That's so cute. That is so cute indeed. Okay, let me just move that away. <clears throat> and I need to attach my card somewhere here. Mm, I have my double-sided tape there. And I'm gonna just glue this down and I okay and the other side as well and the card is ready I know you trust my judgments and you trust my opinions and I really promise you it's possible to be done but it's not easy. You have a feeling that something is wrong and doing this for the first time I had exactly the same feeling, trust me. But I was like, Marta, keep going, keep going, close your eyes in your mind and just do it for them. Because I know you have been waiting for easy things and for encouraging you that you actually can do watercolors without being very much artistic and without being very much experienced. So I hope that this card is a great example that you can really paint. I know it's a simple scenery of a woods or Christmassy trees. But I think it's equally pretty and simple things can be so pretty and it looks like professional to me anyway <laughs> uh, with the little snow there. I, anyway, I hope it was enjoyable and I hope it was helpful and you will find, <clears throat> excuse me, you will find something for yourself. Trust me, you have to try it. Grab just watercolor paint, watercolor paper, watercolor brush and water, green color, to start off maybe, I'm gonna try different colors as well and just go for it. You don't need to go for a card straight away. Make just a scenery, just on the paper. Just try it, just practice and see how you find it. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to be back to you, even for such a short 
morning, but I hope it was nice and enjoyable, equally for you as for me. Thank you so much, love you loads, and I cannot hear, wait, and I cannot wait to hear from you what you think about this card. So thank you so much, and I'll chat to you super soon. Bye! Bye-bye!